warriors, my friends, my extended family, welcome to another important video. Yes, you are listening to a lot of these kinds of videos, but haven't subscribed yet to this channel. So please go ahead and subscribe today and truly commit to your healing journey. As well, if you have any other questions on the number one health anxiety program available online today, head on over here. Today's video is my personal secret that I want to share with you. I've worked with thousands of people worldwide to not manage anxiety, but to heal anxiety at the root so that their present and future identities can in fact be a reflection of that healing. And as I worked with people, I realized, my God, they are winning. They are creating so much momentum, momentum in the direction of inner peace to have their own perspectives and their own belief systems. And no longer are they dragged around by their past traumas, past conditioning. Today, I want to reveal to you this secret. If you see me looking down, I'm looking down on the notes that I have today because it's very important that I share with you the practicality behind this secret. So we're going to go through them. And the secret is this. Starting today, I want you to start working from the end to the beginning. Here's what I mean. As you're going through the day, consciously and unconsciously, you are checking in. You are checking in with your anxiety disorder diagnoses, no matter what the future situation or present situation is. Let me give you an example. When I got diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder, I remember always checking in with that identity, that diagnosis, to make sure that I was prepared for an upcoming situation. Many times that diagnosis and that anxiety identity told me that I shouldn't go into an unfamiliar situation, that X was going to happen to me, another panic attack, I was going to be let down. Or I was invited to a party, a get together, and unconsciously I checked in with my GAD and my GAD said, find an excuse, you need to be home, you're going to make another mistake, you're going to be overwhelmed, you're going to go into a free state again. So you can see as you're going through the day, you may recognize it or you may not be recognizing the fact that you're always, always, always checking in with who you believe you are in this present moment. And that, unfortunately, is your diagnosis. So my secret, my vision for you is to work from the end to the beginning, meaning work with your healed identity instead. When you check in, I want you to check in to the part of you that is already healed from what it is you're suffering from. I want you to envision what your new identity will be like. And I want you to check in constantly with that identity, that natural self instead. Instead of checking in with our anxiety disorder diagnoses, we must begin checking in with our future healed selves. So let me give you a couple of examples. Give yourself, first and foremost, give yourself an identity name that matches the feeling state you want to experience most often. This is the practical aspect of this. Grab a piece of paper and give yourself an identity, your own identity. You could be the rock. You could be the social butterfly. You could be carefree Joni. It doesn't matter. I want you to provide yourself with the identity that matches someone who has been healed from what it is they're suffering from. That's step one. Step two 
is I want you to write down the characteristics that attract to this identity. So notice the characteristics that match with this identity. How would this person think? What sort of behaviors would this person enact? What sort of belief systems does this person hold? What kind of person is this identity? So now you've got your identity labeled out and you've got the characteristics connected to that identity. Step three is I want you to bring awareness to moments throughout the day when your new identity can arise and respond. This is where you're becoming much more consciously aware as you go through the day and not willing to fall for those unconscious patterns and those unconscious habits anymore. Okay, so these three steps are very, very important, practical, and very, very powerful to begin working from the end to the present. And what's going to happen here is that not only are you working from the end to the present, but you're also working from the end to the past. What I mean by that is when you start to function through your new identity, you're going to have moments where your past shows up again, those past experiences, traumas and relationships that you had. And what's going to happen is you're going to begin naturally seeing those experiences from the eyes of your new identity. So you're going to be met with new neutral perspectives, neutral feelings. And what's going to happen here is you're going to begin forgiving yourself and other people at a heart level. This is the beauty of working from the end backwards, my friends. Now, you're going through your day, right? There has to be some, some powerful questions so that you can respond in the moment of fear and sensitivity. These questions you ask yourself as you're going through the day to strengthen your new identity. So write these down for me. Question number one. How would my healed self think right now? Or how would my new identity think right now? That is very, very powerful. Because instead of experiencing an anxiety symptom that takes you down that rabbit hole of, oh God, this and oh God, that, you're creating awareness in that moment and you're not checking in with your anxiety identity, but you're checking in with your healed identity, asking yourself this question, how would my healed self think right now in this moment, in this moment where my anxiousness wants to arise? That is so, so powerful warriors. Second question that you can ask yourself is, what would my new identity do right now? So as you can see, it's not so much about cognition. This question is about action. It's about behavior. It's about the doing. What would my new identity do right now? When I used to ask myself this question and my dizziness arose, I would find myself looking to befriend my dizziness. Unbelievable. I used to swivel in a chair to get more familiarized with the symptom, therefore befriend the symptom. Incredible how these things can happen when we ask ourselves the right questions. Third thing you want to ask yourself is, how would my natural self, your new identity, imagine this future scenario? Mm. So you're going through your day and you're going, oh God, this anxiety is going to take me down a rabbit hole that I may never get out of or my health anxiety is going to kill me. My nose is very, very itchy today. And instead, you ask yourself, how would my natural self imagine this future scenario? And the answer shows up. The answer says, anxiety at the moment is a curse. And yes, 
It is messy. This journey is messy. But in the end, it will be a blessing. It will be a blessing because I will finally write that book. I will contribute greatly to this world. So on and so forth. So let's focus here. The questions you're going to begin asking yourself as you go through the day is how would my healed self think right now in this moment of anxiousness? What would my new identity do right now? Behavior. And finally, how would my natural self imagine this future scenario? Powerful. So I've given you some homework within the first three parts of this video. And I've also given you the tools that you want to begin using the questions you want to begin using as you go through your day. I want to leave you with this. Stop looking to micromanage every situation that causes an anxiety response. Stop. Rather, work on an identity shift altogether in order to naturally override your old unhelpful patterns. This is so key because many times we look to heal every little aspect of anxiety when in fact that truly is just a defense mechanism by your inner child looking to keep you suffering. Oh my goodness, the epiphanies are coming to us. The clarity is coming to us. We are starting to acknowledge the fact that what we believe is the right thing to do many times is the wrong thing to do and only feeds our addiction to suffering. Speak this language with me. And I believe in my heart that healing is inevitable for you. Subscribe to this channel. Commit to your healing. If you get a chance, please share this video with a group or an individual that needs it. Let's spread this energy. Let's spread the healing throughout this world. Remember that you are more than anxiety. Don't ever forget it. Bye-bye.